In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the JavaScript splice. So with JavaScript splice, you can not only add, remove items from your array, but you can also replace items in your array. So in a way, this is the one-stop solution to all your manipulation needs um, for the array. So let's take a look at the basic syntax, which is actually a little more complicated than um, the JavaScript push and pop and shift and unshift. The syntax for splice, um, simply put, is you can um, name your variable um, for your array and put dot splice after that. Um, so far, it's all very similar to, to JavaScript push, pop, shift, unshift, except inside of splice, this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, there are at least um, one parameter you have to put into the parenthesis. Um, the second and the third are optional, but essentially the first parameter um, is naming the index number that you want to manipulate on the array. And the second parameter here is um, something I'm calling count. So, so what this entails is it's asking how many items would you like to delete <laughs> um, starting from hypothetically index zero. So if you wish to delete something here, um, you would you know name the, the count, the number of items you want to delete starting from index zero. If you don't want to delete anything, you can also just put zero here for the count. And the third parameter here is for if you want to add something into um, the array. So um, inside of that um, square bracket, you can put, you know, zero, you can put a word, you can put object, you can put all kinds of stuff to, to add into your array. So let's actually put this into practice. And we're gonna look at you know all three ways how to add, remove, and replace items um, using splice. So so what I'm going to start with is um, something rather simple. So I'm gonna use um, numbers. I'm gonna create a numbers array, and I'm going to say I'm gonna like list just like a bunch of like odd numbers. So one, three, five seven, nine, for instance. And my, my goal right now is I, I want it so that when mouse is pressed, I get to, let's say, delete. Let's start from delete. So I get to delete an item from my array. So I'm gonna put function mouse pressed, and I'm going to say numbers, dot splice and something has to go in there okay so my goal here is to delete here okay so what has to go in there um let's revisit our syntax again so so um the first parameter is the index number and the second parameter is is the the count <laughs> oh, specifically for the purpose of the legion all right so basically, if I want to delete my first number, number one here, I have to put index zero and comma and put one, meaning I want to delete one item, right? So if I click, oh, I have to put in my console.log so I can see what's going on. Um, so numbers, and if I hit play, And if I click on the screen, I'm gonna see that my, my number one has been removed from index zero, right? What's gonna happen if I click again? If I click again, it's gonna remove my number three, which has become the new item for the index zero, right? If I put, just do it again, um, and it's gonna keep removing, this is a very similar thing. Um, you know, just like the JavaScript shift, 
right? Like when, when we use JavaScript shift, it actually removed things from the beginning. Except the, the, the reason why splice is powerful is because we can now, you know, name a different index number. Like what if I want to delete five? I can say, oh, then I have to like start from index number two, right? So if I do that and if I, um, click on the screen here, it's going to just delete five. So I can actually edit from the middle. And actually the, the word splice, it's it's beautifully named here because it's it's also referencing like, you know, the in the past in the analog world when you could like splice films together, like film editing used to be like analog and you just like splice different frames together. So <clears throat> it's the same idea here when it comes to splicing an array and splicing different parts of an array together. If I put um, two over here, and if I hit play and click on that, <laughs> I am going to remove both five and seven. So two items, you know, in a row, right? So, so this is the basic idea of how the legion work um, inside of a splice context. Okay, so I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to try the next thing which is to add. Okay, so in order to add stuff, I'm going to say numbers, splice, add, and I'm going to, um, let's see. So I have like a list of like odd number. What if I add an even number between one and three? So I wanna add two um, right after one. So, so in order to do that, I could say, hey, I want to um, add number two in <laughs> the array item position one, right? So I want to like, I want to insert a item into the array position one. So I'm gonna come back here and put one here and comma. And the second parameter, again, remember it's, um, only for if you want to delete something. So in this case, I am going to say zero. And the third parameter here is for adding items. Um, so, so going back here, I'm going to say two, because I want to add the number two into our array. Okay, let's hit play here and see if it's gonna work. Um, so it starts from a row of even numbers or odd numbers, sorry, and I'm gonna hit play and it just it inserts, right? The insert number two into my um, position one. Okay, I can also, by the way, add multiple numbers here or multiple items. They, all, they don't even all have to be numbers. So for example, I can say, um, you know, code. I can add a string maybe and if I hit play, and if I click, it's going to add both a number and a string into the array. And this list can just go on and on, right? Add as many things as you want. The only crucial information it needs is knowing, like, you know, the position you want to add it on and also knowing that you don't want to remove anything there. Okay, so I'm going to, um, hopefully that makes sense, I'm going to like continue and work on replacing. So, so replacing numbers, splice, replace. This works ba basically in a very similar way um, in the sense of like, we're just going to combine what we have learned, delete and add into the same space. So this is pretty exciting. Um, let's see, we got we got this like number one, three, five, six, seven, nine. Um, what if I replace the, the second number, which is again, index number one into number two. So, so here then we have to say index number one and we have to delete one item, right? Because we want to replace three. So I have to delete three and, and we're going to add two. So if I hit play here, 
And if I click on the screen, then we're gonna see that, okay, so three got replaced by two, right? So, so this is the basic idea of how you work with adding, removing, and deleting using splice only. And so we're gonna take a look at how you integrate these concepts into the world of classes and objects. So here I've started a new sketch. I'm going to make a class of buttons. I'm gonna make it possible for me to click each of those buttons away. So I'm going to say class button. And the first thing I need will be a constructor. And I'm going to say this.x um, equals to random width, y equals to random height. And this dot width is going to be 20. And here I need to have show, and it's going to be ellipse this.x, this.y, this.width. Okay, so now all I have to do is creating a empty array, let buttons equals to empty array, and I'm going to bring those objects into the world of p5.js, and so I'm gonna say buttons, Oh, actually, I need a for loop. Um, for let i equals zero, i smaller than five, i plus plus, and buttons um, i going to be equal to new button, and again we are going to copy this, <laughs> put it into draw except this time, um, instead of writing five, I'm going to say buttons.length. Just so that it's going to continuously update the length of my button array, which is going to decrease as I click the buttons away. And over here, I'm going to say button i.show. So next, what we have to do is making it possible for every single button to um, sense the distance of my cursor. Um, in the previous tutorial, we integrated this sensing feature into the class itself. Um, this time, I'm going to show you a different way to do it um, straight into the draw. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare a global variable d. And this is going to basically represent uh, the, the outcome of the distance um, between my cursor and each of the buttons. So now I am going to, inside of my, my button array, going to say D gonna be equal to dist mouse X, mouse Y, and buttons I, that x buttons i dot y. So it turns out that now that we have created these objects outside of the context of the class, we can also locate the, the x and y position for each of them, right? So so if here I go to you know do my console.log and if I say um D. And if I hit play here, I, I should be able to sense essentially like the distance between my cursor and each of the button, right? It's just like looping and sensing the distance over and over and over again. Okay, so, so now um, this is where I can say, uh, create an if statement and for something to happen if um, the, the distance is smaller than, you know, a number. So here I'm going to say if D is smaller than 10, then we are going to console.log the D and also change the fail to zero. And of course we need to, do, we need to have else as well. So, so if it's 
touching the ellipse, the ellipse is going to turn, turn black. <laughs> Otherwise, fill is going to be 2 by 5. So let's see um, if we hit play here. And if I get close to a ellipse, it's going to only turn the ellipse um, that's less than 10 black, right? And every other instance is, it's going to be 255. Okay, cool. So, so here, um, after having these like basic, you know, things accomplished, we can then go and move towards splicing that ellipse out. So under the condition, if um, D is smaller than 10. If mouse is pressed, then button gets deleted, right? So, so the, the most trickiest part of this whole tutorial is this moment here. So, so what we have to write here is actually buttons that splice and again, just like remembering the syntax, the first parameter is the number, um, index number of the item on the array. So here we actually just have to write i. And comma, the, the number of um, you know, items we want to delete, which is just one. So, so what this is saying is that whenever the for loop is looped to you know, one of the circles, and if that's that distance with that circle is lower than 10. And if mouse is pressed, then, you know, buttons that splice pick that exact circle, uh, you know, on the index, um, on the array and splice it out. If we hit play now, we are going to be able to click and delete our button. And that is awesome except sometimes we would get this arrow in the console that says uncaught type arrow. Um, cannot read the property show of undefined. So somehow it is not able to find one of our buttons, right? It, it's just, it says that the button is undefined. So, so what happens here is sometimes um, you delete a button <laughs> um, before um, the the program is showing the button, right? So basically, there is a clash here where the the button has been de been deleted, but it's still scheduled to show. So what we can do to solve this problem here is using something called the null pointer. So um, in programming terms, null means nothing, <laughs> um, or you know, basically there's no value. So here, what we can then write is putting an if statement in there to make sure um, that the buttons that we're displaying in this sketch are not empty. So here, I would then write buttons i um, not equal to null, <laughs> which basically means empty or nothing, right? So so only show the buttons that has substance in it, right? Don't show buttons <laughs> um, that that is empty. So so let's hit play. And if we implement this, this way of making sure that the program checks that, you know, the, the button I, whatever items on the array it is, in fact, exist, <laughs> um, if it has a way of checking that, then we can avoid the issue of the sketch wanting to show a button that had already been deleted. So this sums up splice. Um, this is essentially how you can use the splice function to, to be able to pick a very specific object on your array and manipulate it.